Hey YouTube, this is the Art of Prepping, looking at tool options for your bug out bag. Um, we have a medley of uh, choices before you. Um, the ones I haven't included would be the uh, hand axe, um, the machete, a file, and a knife sharpener of a sort. So everything else should be represented and uh, in most part here. Uh, there could be some outliers depending on where you live. You may need specialized tools to survive your region. Uh, that could include things like uh, maybe a, a fishing pole or a, a certain type of spear or something like that. Maybe even a walking stick. So, uh, but uh, without those, with you me know, besides those exceptions, we have these uh, these tools before us. A little hand axe. Uh, you may want something more substantial. This is just more of a hatchet style. Um, we have uh, folding blades, uh, like the Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, you know, uh, we have various types of uh, Swiss Army knives. It could be a, a multi-tool, uh, various compact forms uh, versus more of a larger multi-tool, like a Leatherman. Uh, we have uh, fixed blades, which could uh, be compact, like this Baco or a Mora. Uh, it could be more of a, of a mid-size, such as like this Ontario. Uh, Blackbird SK5 here, or we have the uh, Charade uh, SCHF 36. Uh, there could be larger, you know, larger knives than those that people, uh, and they do sometimes take larger knives. Um, we also have like, uh, you know, more of a mid-sized knives. And um, you have your hand saws like the Coleman here, or this Baco Laplander. Uh, this is a great option, a push button locking system. Don't forget your sheaths are really important. Um, these are the uh, uh, night eyes. They have this rotating uh, clip here that you can adjust to any position and it snaps into place so you can do vertical, horizontal, or any type of cant that you want. It also has a nice uh, you know, button, a closure, and elastic on the outside and a little compartment on the back. So just a great overall sheath system to, uh, to uh, just kind of Think over and to maybe consider uh, your your gloves are going to be very important. It could be mechanics gloves. It could be other types of maybe leather gloves, work gloves, for um, to use these tools. And um, with that being said, though, you know uh, there's just a a lot of different types of brands and sizes and color options and uh, you know weight sensitivities uh, to look at. So uh, depending on how light your pack is, you know uh, is going to be or you desire to be. And also how um, how much room you have, or you want to um, you know want to allow or a lot for your pack. Um, these tools can vary greatly. So these are just some ideas of different tools that you could have in your bug out bag. Thanks for watching.